In this video, you're going to learn how to multiply matrices. So we're going to go through four examples together. I'm going to show you how to do this. Let's dive in. The first example here, we've got this matrix times this matrix. Now, first of all, you might be saying, what's a matrix? Well, it's just a way of organizing data. Okay, it's almost like a table or a chart. And what's interesting is that when you multiply matrices, you're multiplying these quantities together and you have to make sure that the dimensions match up. So what do I mean by the dimensions? Well, you wanna always figure out what the rows are by the columns. Okay, and the same thing with this matrix. You want the number of rows by the number of columns. And so the rows go this way. Okay, so we can see that there's one row here and the columns go like Roman columns, like in the vertical direction. So you can see one, two, three. So we have a one by three matrix here. And over here we have, let's see, one, two, three rows, and we have one, two columns. So when you multiply matrices, you wanna make sure that these inner dimensions, they're the same, that they match. And you're gonna end up with a matrix that has these outer dimensions. It's gonna be a one by two. So what that means is we're gonna have one row and two columns. Now remember, Always rows first and columns second. So rows by columns, rows by columns, forever and ever, okay? So now what I like to do is I like to work backwards a little bit. I like to say, what position is this element in? Well, this element is in the first row, first column. So that tells me what to do. I'm gonna take this first row here. I'm gonna multiply it by this first column here. But what I do in my mind is I take this row and I rotate it so that the elements match up with each other. So what I mean by that is I take the first element in this row times the first element in this column and I multiply them together. So I say three times one is three. Then I take the second element, second element. So negative one times zero is zero. And then I take the third element and the third element. So four times negative two is negative eight. And so you can see that we multiply these ones that match up with each other and then we add those quantities together. So sometimes I'll just make kind of like a, a little matrix here, and then I'll put the final result like in another matrix just so I can do my calculations. So three plus zero plus negative eight is gonna be negative five. Now this one is in the first row, second column. So that tells us what to do. We're gonna take this first row times this second column. Now you can either do my technique of taking this row and kind of rotating it, okay, like that, or you can just say, first and first, second and second, third and third, you're gonna multiply those and then add them together. So let's do that. Three times one is three. Some people are good at doing this in their head. I like to write it down. Negative one times two is negative two. And then four times five is 20. If we add all those together, let's see what do we get. Uh, this comes out to one plus 20 is 21. And this is our final result. Okay, let's take a look at another example. For number two, what are the dimensions of these two matrices? Well, let's see, we've got one, two rows. Remember the rows go this way. And we have one, two Roman columns, right? They go vertically. Same thing with this one. We have one, two rows and one, two columns. Remember, always rows first, columns second, forever and ever. Okay, now they call these square matrices because you can see it's like a square, the same number of rows and columns. Okay, it looks like a square. You wanna make sure that the inner dimensions match, which they do, and you end up with a matrix that has these outer dimensions. It's gonna be a two row, two column matrix. So one, two rows, two columns. Okay, so now let's do our calculations. So you can do them in any order you want. Like you could start with this one or this one, or you can do them in any order, it doesn't matter. But what I like to do is kind of work backwards. I like to say, hmm, what position is this in? It's in the first row, first column. Remember rows first, column second. So that tells me what to do. I'm gonna take the first row times the first column. One times negative one is negative one. Three times two is six. Add those together, we'll put it in our final matrix over here, which is five. Okay, now let's go to this one here. This is in what position? The first row, second column, right? So that tells us what to do. First row times second column. You can either do my technique of rotating and multiplying the ones that match up, or you can do first and first, second and second, and then add them together. One times five is five, plus three times seven is 21. Add those guys together, 
26. You don't have to put these lines here. I was just kind of doing that. Okay, now this one, we've got the second row, first column. So that tells us what to do. Second row times the first column. Negative 2 times negative 1 is 2 plus 0 times 2 is 0. 2 plus 0 is 2. At last one, second row, second column. Second row, second column. So we have negative 10 plus 0, which is negative 10. And this is your final result. Let's take a look at two more examples. Okay, if you're getting the hang of this, try number three and four on your own. We'll go through them together. And I want to make a couple other points to you while we go through these. Notice this matrix here is a one, two, three rows by one column, whereas this matrix is a one row by one, two, three columns. And notice that these inner dimensions, they match, but you might be saying, Mario, what happens if they don't match? Well, then it just means it's a dimensional mismatch or it's just not possible to multiply the matrices together. You're not gonna be able to do it. The other thing that's interesting is that in normal multiplication, five times two is the same as two times five. It doesn't matter the order, right? It's commutative, right? But with matrices, not necessarily commutative because if I were to take this matrix and put it here, what we would have is we would have a one by three and then by a three by one, the dimensions are matching, which is great, but we're ending up with a one by one instead of a three by three. It's a completely different size matrix. Uh, so they're obviously not gonna be the same, which means that multiplication with matrices is not commutative, right? So, but for this one, we're gonna end up with a three by three. So let's see if we can draw that out. So a three by three means we have three rows and three columns. So one, two, three rows, one, two, three columns. And again, remember how I said you can do this in any order? Like if I wanted to find just this element here, I say that's in the second row, third column. So I would take the second row, which is zero, times the third column, which is zero, that's gonna be zero, see? Sometimes you don't need to figure out the whole matrix, you just need one element. Say if I want this one, third row, first column, third row, first column. So negative two times five is negative 10. Now this is interesting, there's nothing to add in this particular uh, problem because you just have one element in the row and one element in the column. Uh, let's say we wanna do this one right here. This is in the first row, second column. So first row, second column. Now that's kind of chaotic, right? You're just jumping all around. But if you have to do the whole thing, I kind of work from left to right, from top to bottom like that. So I would start here. First row, first column, that's gonna be five. Uh, first row, third column, that's going to be zero. Uh, this one is in the second row, first column, so zero times five is zero. And this one's second row, second column, which is zero. And then over here we've got a third row, second column, so third row, second column, that's negative four. And over here we have third row, third column, which is zero. So that's our final resultant matrix. Okay, for number four, why don't you try this one if you can. What are the dimensions? Do they match up? And how would you multiply them together? Well, let's see, if I was gonna do it, I can see I have one row, two columns, so that's a one by two. Here we have a two row, one column. Our inner dimensions match, which is great, and we're gonna end up with a one by one, the outer dimensions. A one by one, that's just one row, one column, it's just one element. So let's do that, we've got first row, times the first column. Okay, so seven times one is seven. One times three is three. Don't tell my niece and nephew I did this, they'll be upset at me, I dropped my pen. Okay, seven times one is seven, one times three is three, and we add those together, we get 10. You can do that in your head if you want, or write it down. So, great job, I hope that um, helps you understand how to multiply matrices. If you want more practice, you wanna see another video I did to maybe test yourself and do some practice, follow me over to that video right there and we'll get some more practice. I'll see you there.